Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Unfortunately, at the HBU Morgan State University, there was an active criminal using their weapon. This violent act caused five students to suffer injuries. Now, before I begin this news story, please remember to hit the notification button, like and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and family. Now, thousands of students at the Historical Black University were celebrating in Baltimore, Maryland. Its estimated number of students enrolled are 7,600 undergraduates and about 1,300 graduate students. On Tuesday, October 3rd, during the homecoming football game, there were several pop, pop, pop noises near the 1700 block of Argonne Drive about 10.30 p.m. So masses of students and relatives rushed to shelter in place and avoid the general area. One of the witnesses interviews stated his perspective. He thought that the violence was heard from outside the building. He witnessed everyone within that immediate area. They needed to run and lay low on the ground to avoid being a victim. However, it was confirmed by investigators that an active criminal is inside a campus building. The reporters focused on the sixth or seventh floor window. The perpetrator used a specific window to target Morgan State students, homecoming participants, and guests. All individuals are restricted from entering the Thurgood Marshall Hall and the Murphy Fine Arts Center. So disappointing that young adults and children within the U.S. have an ex educational experience with tons of stress. And also their stress from the school curriculum, standardized tests, and mass crimes at schools. About every month or every other month, there's a mass shooting. being reported. In our country, weapons are seized by too many unstable individuals. A WBAL TV intern, Imani and her friend, Regina, these two female students who were interviewed said they were attending a coronation campus ceremony. Now at the event, Mr. and Mrs. Morgan State were introduced and given accolades. When the ceremony ended, they left through the back door of the building. Luckily, it was the right choice since the active unaliva was located near or facing the front of the building. And as the two women proceeded in their car, they saw an abundance of officers, SWAT teams, and helicopters surrounding the school. In the chaos, both students, parents, friends on and off campus reached out to them. Everyone hearing about this latest incident were communicating with them about their safety. Regina mentioned that over the summer, there was an incident with an unaliver firing a weapon at a gathering, maybe a cookout. And since then, everyone in, the Bolt in Baltimore, in that city, has been more keen about the violence in their surroundings. Rightfully so, many students returning to school was leery about more violence taking place during the academic school year. The students mentioned parties that are organized for the upcoming weekend. Now they are not going to any festivities on campus. Both of them are really frightened not knowing when the active criminal will be caught, how they will stay safe and continue classes like all the students. feel frightened. In these situations, everyone must be disciplined to stay in their safe place. This situation is highly stressful and traumatic. The Morgan State University homecoming was such a positive day. So many family members, talented students, and uplifting activities were planned for the next weekend. Thankfully though, three of the five injured people have been released from the hospital. And I'm hoping the remaining two people will recover 100%
and everyone is out of harm's way. Now, even after two days, the suspect or suspects are still at large. There's video footage of a few young men and law enforcement is pleading for anyone who recognize these culprits to contact them immediately. Multiple weapons were at the scene, but unfortunately no one is arrested yet. This crime has taken a significant amount of time to be contained. Please leave your comments below. I would love to hear from everyone. And remember to hit the notification button, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are.